Andrew and Julie Threadgill try to give their two-year-old daughter choices. Annabelle may choose to wear a dress every day, her mother's wedding tiara whenever she wants, or tap shoes instead of normal dress shoes. But there are some things Annabelle had no choice in, like being born with a cancerous tumor in her right forearm and having to travel every week to receive chemotherapy treatments for the next year. Annabelle will be an honored child at this year's St. Baldrick shaving event held at Jeremiah Joe Coffee. Here, the Threadgills talk about what it's like caring for little Annabelle. It's fibromyosis in her right forearm, which is, it's a tumor that is really aggressive and just takes over everything in its path, basically. But the good thing about it is it doesn't spread in the bloodstream, so it's in her, we're really, really blessed with where it's at, which, believe it or not, you know, there's a good part of it, um, because a lot of these are found in, like, the abdominal walls and stuff, but with her, it's, um, it's in her right forearm, and it'll only spread up her arm. <laughs> Yeah, it'll only spread up her arm, um, and before the point where it get light, where it become life threatening, she uh, would have her arm amputated before we get there. Mm. We go to Edwards Hospital. Oh, Naperville. fly down! Naperville. Uh, once a week, every oh, Wednesday. Where her doctor is? Out of Chicago. Uh, Comer's. He. Comer's Children Hospital and. University of Chicago. University of Chicago. I mean, she's losing her hair. We better pull back now so you can't see the bald spots. I know all the tricks as to how to mm. keep, make it look fuller now, but um, she's losing her hair. She is gaggy the first day or two after, and really the first first like three days she's hyper, very hyper from it, and then mm -hmm. after that she tires very easily. But other than that, besides being crabby, she's she ignores it. She doesn't know she shouldn't feel good. You get you get billed the, um, the doctor visit. Okay. She billed for the medications, and she gets vinblastine and methotrexate, which is two chemos, and then she gets um, an anti-nausea um, medication, um, which is heparin, and then they give her another medication for her porch, and they give her a medication to keep that from clotting. Um, so that's all four. You get billed for all four of those. You wow. get billed for the room, and then gas to get their food, because of course we have to eat uh, while we're out, and it's... Um, Three, three hours we're at the hospital, an hour drive there, an hour drive back. And luckily we don't have to pay, we've never had to pay anybody to sit him. He either comes with or a family member has had him. So people. Oh, you got a baseball glove? Awesome. You want to hold it? So what's it like having to, to do that and then also... Seven month old. Seven month old, yes. He is <laughs> Balance a seven month good month. baby. <laughs> And he actually, honestly, it helps make life a little bit more normal. That they absolutely love each other. They're just crazy about each other, and I think it helps because when we bring him with, we can say, "What's Jammer's doing while she's getting her port access?" And she'll, um, she'll pay attention to him instead of them, pad, you know, port accessing her. There's nothing we can do to get her to pay attention to anything but when they're accessing. But it, it helps. It works. Him making faces at her, or you know, what's, what's your brother doing? Or, I have to hold her, hold her head away because she refuses to wear the mask and she can't breathe on it, otherwise it wouldn't be sanitized. Good job. She's very aware of everything that goes on. I was sitting on the bed with her yesterday and at the hospital and she started doing everything to me, taking my blood pressure, taking my poles, she was accessing my port, and then she told me to cry because that's what you're supposed Aww. to do when you access your port. I'm like... But see, mommy's a big brave girl. Mommy's not gonna cry, right? And she says, "Mommy, cry." I'm like, I'm trying to show you how to be brave. <laughs> Cancer is bad for anyone, but for kids who can't understand what's what's going on, why they, you know, it's just horrible to watch them. And yesterday we got the, the privilege of watching a girl who was her last treatment, and she was done. And oh they wow! Had a party for her, and it was. It was nice to see. They had a big two-layer pink cake, which caught her eye. <laughs> Mommy, they got cake, and that's why it came to my attention. And I was just like, it'll be a little while, but that'll be us.